Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my band, the Chardon Polka Band. You're going to hear us play a lot of music on this show. There's Mike, Mitch, Bob, and the guy with the mustache is Brian. Since I was 16 years old, polka music has been my job. And at that job, I get to see and do some pretty crazy and interesting stuff. And I want to share those experiences and the music I love so much with all of you. This is The World According to Polka. Summer is finally here. It's a balmy 83 degrees. You know, that's warm enough to merit ice cream, but not so hot that the pavement is bubbling. Traveling Alcorn salesman Robert Brazelton warms up next to an alarmingly blue waterfall. And all is right with the world. It's summertime here in our little town. That means change into your flip-flops, your cutoffs, smear on the sunscreen, put on your shades, because we're going to take a polka look at some of our favorite summertime places and activities right here in Chardon, Ohio. And you know, summer wouldn't be complete without the perfect soundtrack. And of course today, that soundtrack is being provided by the Chardon Polka Band. In towns and communities all across the Midwest, you can find the summer concert series at town gazebos and band shelves just like ours. A summer concert series like this one is a great way to bring your community together in the warm summer air. Would it be summer without a concert from the Chardon Polka no. Band? No. No, this or makes... More. <laughs> it, it makes the thing, right? Right. I love it. It's I wonderful. love the family, hometown, everybody, friends from everywhere come and everybody loves you. In the good old summertime, in the good old summertime, strolling down the shady lane with my baby mine. And she holds mine That's a very good sign She's my tootsie wootsie In the good old summertime I said she's my tootsie wootsie In the good old summertime In addition to sharing music from our very own hometown Chardon Summer Concert Series today on the show, we're also looking at a few of our favorite summer go-tos, the kind of places you want to spend your summer at, which is what brings us here to Chips Clubhouse Miniature Golf Course. More than 130 million people play miniature golf every year. While some say the origins of the game point to a ladies putting club in Scotland in 1827, others say mini golf can actually be traced back to China between the years of 937 and 975 AD. And still, Dutch historians swear the sport originated in Denmark around 1297. Given the predominance of windmills on many a golf course, the Dutch link certainly seems possible. For generations, people have spent their summer times playing miniature golf at groovy little courses just like this. And I dig this place so much, we're going to see if we can find the owner today. Oh my goodness, here she is. Surprise, Hi. it's my wife, 
Emily Cowie. How you doing, Emily? I'm great. Emily and I loved miniature golf and Chips Clubhouse so much that we purchased the business back in 2021. And just like our work with the Chardon Polka Band, it's a way we can put smiles on faces. Hello. Emily, you are the light of my life, but you also bring the life into this place. You run this place, the day-to-day -day operations. I run like social media and clean out the ponds once in a while. I, I want to know about running this place. What is your favorite part of, of running this place and having Chips Clubhouse Miniature Golf Course? I'm bringing joy to people in the community and bringing people together and they're having a good time. They're laughing, they're enjoying themselves and having fun. First and foremost is bringing all the friends, family out to play, to just have a place to gather and have a good time at the same time. So I heard bringing people together, right? Yeah. And you mentioned friends and family. Yes. Well, it just so happens right over there. <laughs> I, I've got a couple of friends and they are family, not to us. They're family to one right. another. They're part of our musical family. And I think we can probably convince them to play a song. I let's, think so. <laughs> let's go do this. Folks, this is one of the things I love about this place. You never know who you're gonna find on a miniature golf course. Check it out. This is our good friend Bob Boozacan. You guys know him. You've seen him play with the Chardon Polka Band a few times. But this young guy, you may not know, this is... Sawyer Boozacan. Sawyer Boozacan. And you are a young person, right? Indeed. How, how old are you? I'm 13. He's 13, which means he's rebellious, right? That's right. But. He's not so rebellious that he can't hang out with his old man on a miniature golf course. What do you think about that, Emily? I think they're having a great time and they're helping everybody else here to have a great time. Oh, and great times, summer times. What song do you have for us about summer times and great times? We're gonna do a summer breeze polka style by James Scott. my favorite thing ever. Oh my goodness, friends and neighbors, it's a beautiful sunny day here on the golf course. I'm here with my good friends Bob Boozacan and Sawyer Boozacan. They're having the time of their lives and we're having the time of our lives at Chardon's own Chips Clubhouse. All right, we are gonna head to Chardon's favorite ice cream place, King Cone, so I can chat with my friend Gail. But before we do that, let's see if we can get Sawyer and Bob to play us another tune. We're here at one of my favorite places, King Cone. King Cone is a big deal around here. It's a local ice cream stand with a big personality. Their custom creations are one of a kind. And they've got a whole fleet of ice cream trucks. We love King Cone, and today, we're lucky we have the owner, Gail, on site to talk to us about her business and the community. All right, we are here 
with Gail, and she is the owner of King Cone. Gail, what is it like to run King Cone? Why did you decide to just jump right into that? My husband had been looking at this place. We used to come here occasionally. And it was just something, though, that we loved in the community. My husband is a teacher and the head football coach at Chardon. So we just thought it was another great little business that we could clean up and have in the community. And we thought it would be fun, basically. I have no background in food. <laughs> and we just kind of went for it. So we started out with about 10 employees. This year, we have about 35 employees. So it's grown immensely. It's a gathering place for everybody to come. We love it down here, and we love what people are able to experience down here. Around here, King Cone is a summer must-have. So you can see we're backstage or behind the scenes at King Cone now, and you can really see that things are starting to heat up. I think a daycare just arrived with about 30 kids, and they are just racing around trying to make as many orders as they can. It's a madhouse. Whoa. All this ice cream is really making me hungry, but I'm also hungry for some more polka. Here's a song called The Two Sisters Polka. I just could not resist her I'm not sure who I fancy more I'm in love with two sisters I'm in love with two sisters Not sure what I am gonna do I'm in love with two sisters I'm in love with two sisters Oh, they are in love with me too Diagnosis. I wish I could undergo mitosis and split my body down from head to toe. Whoa. Then there would be two of me. You see, then I would be free and one of me to each sister I would go. I'm in love with two sisters. I'm in love with two sisters. Not sure what I am gonna do. I'm in love with two sisters. I'm in love with two sisters. Oh, they are in love with me too. Two sisters, I'm in love with two sisters. Not sure what I am gonna do. I'm in love with two sisters, I'm in love with two sisters. If you're lucky, maybe I'll give one to you. If you're lucky, maybe I'll give one to you. If you're lucky, maybe I'll give one to you. That's the two sisters, Polka friends and neighbors. That's one of ours from back in the day. All right, they have let me loose in the back of King Cone, and I'm going to make a no name. McKaylee's going to help me out here. All right, so go slow, and I'm going to yeah, three times around. Yeah, three go really times slow. Around. Yes. I don't know, guys. Whoa, it comes out really fast. <laughs> Woo! All right, that is something like that. Now, where do we go? Okay. Lay it down. Yes, hand me a spin. <laughs> Pile the kind pretzels of like on top. help it out. Yes. Pile so I don't want to pretzels. ruin the foundation of the cone. Because I can use and all then, the help. And then wait, it. we're not gonna oh, put it in yet. Okay. So we're gonna walk over to the chocolate dip right there. Oh boy. Really quick, like flip it back up. In and out. Here yes, we go. Yes, really quick. In and out. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I did the dip. And okay. then we're finish it off with all right. some sea salt. Okay. So just sprinkle some on the top. Sprinkle some sea salt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then some caramel, oh. as much as you want. We caramel put a lot sauce. On. I mean, everything is just over the top here, and it is wonderful. And spoon it up, and you're finished. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I believe Jake is going to enjoy this one. <laughs> All right, this no name looks delicious. It... 
I actually made that myself. You made it. With my new friend, McKaylee. And I'm yeah. gonna eat it. And you're gonna eat it. This is the coolest, this is the coolest segment we've ever done. <laughs> this, this is Basically. awesome. This is, this is our job, folks. Look at this. This is a size small. This, this is delightful. Amazing. All right, while, while we're chowing down, let's send you guys to another polka. Uh, speaking of tasty treats, mm -hmm. this one's called Polka Around Your Sweetheart. Uh, this is a song you you created, like you created this no name. You created this song. I think I did a little better on the song. Oh well, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Here it is, our music video for Polka Around Your Sweetheart. You might have noticed that that last video was a little bit vintage. Yeah, that featured one of the band's previous lineups. Mike Franklin and me, we were still there. We're always there. But Emily Cowie was in a starring role, and our buddy Joey Dahlhausen, the salty sailor himself, was on drums. It was a bit of a throwback. Definitely a little bit of a throwback. That was vintage, and now we are here at our last location, which is also vintage. Yeah, the Mayfield Road drive-in. Now this place has been around since 1945 when it was known as the Hazelwood Drive-In. We are so fortunate to have this place in our community. Another wonderful place for families to gather. It is and it's not just for locals. People flock from all over to check out this classic piece of Americana, the drive-in theater. Let's go check it out and talk to some folks. The drive-in means to me a family tradition. We do it every summer. It's something we have to do before school starts. <laughs> drive-in movie theater for us is super important in the summer because we get to spend outside with our family and just enjoy the summer. We love the drive-in! <laughs> Your idea of a perfect summer might come from an ice cream cone. It might come from a splash in the community pool or a family barbecue, or road trip. You know, for us, so much of our summers have always revolved around music. That that's what I think of is, is like the perfect summer night. I'm on stage playing music, and that's a lot of what our show is about today. We're gonna do one more song from the Chardon Square, and this one is called Rockin' Robin. That's one of my favorites. I think you are top-notch at that song. I think I'm top-notch at that <laughs> song, too. Thank you, honey. 
He rocked in a treetop all day long, hopping and bobbing and singing a song. All the little birds on the Jaybird Street love to hear the robber going tweet, tweet, tweet. Rock a robin. Rock a robin. Oh, rock a robin, cause we're really gonna be back tonight. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree, the wise old owl, the big black crow, the black Wings and say, Go, bird, go, rock a robin. Rock a robin. Go, rock a robin, because we're really gonna rock tonight. Let him have a bitch. Taught him how to do the bop and it was grand Started going steady and bless my soul He out popped the buzzer and the Oreo Got the rock in the treetop all day long Hopping and a bopping and a singing a song All the little birds on the Jaybird Street Love to hear the rhyme going tweet, tweet, tweet Like a rhyme We love to live in an area that offers such rich summer experiences, and we are so grateful that we got to share them with all of you today. Yeah, we visited the miniature golf course. King Cone. Uh, and we're wrapping up here at the drive-in, some of our favorite summer spots. Now, these experiences aren't just limited to our, our small town, Chardon, Ohio. You've got to go find these spots where you live and enjoy these experiences. Find these local hangouts and go check them out. Go find summer in the world around you. Yes, the world. You know which world we're talking about? We're talking about the world according to Polka. Thanks for joining us on the program today. We had a blast sharing our summer experiences with you guys. And I think it's time to go grab your popcorn and get your seats because the movie's about to start. That's right. It's showtime and I think you're going to like today's feature at the <laughs> Mayfield Road Drive-In. How do things look, Doctor? Not good, Captain. They've gone from bad to worse. That asteroid is definitely going to hit Earth. An asteroid like that impacting the Earth could wipe out the entire planet. Hold on, I'm picking something up. What is it? It's like something from out of this world. A spacecraft, perhaps. And here it comes. Goliath, and I am from the planet Zorkon. I will help you destroy the asteroid. Yeah! We can do it! <laughs>
say summertime. 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 There ain't no school, so don't be a fool. You gotta enjoy that summertime, summertime. all the time. <laughs> all right. You said summertime and looked right at me.